Hello Rangers, welcome to the Reiko Branch Library. Today we have a great Reiko Rangers program for you, bees and pollinators. Let's begin by talking about pollen, what pollination is, and what pollinators are. Pollen is a powdery substance that's formed by seed producing plants. Pollen that is transferred from plant to plant helps make new plants of that type year after year. The act of pollinators visiting plants and transferring pollen to and from each plant they visit is called pollination. Pollinators are animals and insects that transfer pollen to plants. Some bats and even hummingbirds are pollinators. In our state of Illinois, the ruby-throated hummingbird, butterflies, moths, bees, flies, and even beetles are pollinators. Pollinators play an important role in the lives of humans and animals by pollinating plants of foods that we eat and foods of plants that animals eat. Bees are excellent pollinators, especially bumblebees. Bumblebees are faster workers than honeybees, better pollinators, and can pollinate plants longer in the growing season. Bumblebees are active from March through September. They have the ability to raise their body temperature by shivering so that they can fly much later in the growing season to pollinate. There are 11 species of bumblebees in Illinois. They're large bees, about one inch in length, and they're covered in hairs that make them look fuzzy. Bumblebees have black and vivid yellow stripes, and their wings are clear with black veins. Notice the orange balls on the hind legs of this bumblebee. That's pollen that is stuck to the bumblebee while visiting flowers, like this goldenrod. As the bumblebee lands on flowers to sip nectar, it picks up some pollen, but also leaves some behind. This is how pollination happens. There are many different colors of pollen, ranging from white, yellow, orange, brown, and even blue. Bumblebees must have a place to lay their eggs where their young can develop safely. They build nests in the ground, among leaves on the ground, and in piles of wood. Bumblebees must live where many native wildflowers grow, like here in our pollinator garden and the prairie beyond. Bumblebees also survive throughout the winter by nesting in leaves on the ground or in piles of wood. There are between 400 and 500 species of native bees in Illinois. They include bumblebees, carpenter bees, plasterer bees, cuckoo bees, mason bees, leaf cutter bees, sweat bees, and minor bees. Because there are so many native species of bees, their habitats are varied. They live in wetlands, grasslands, woodland, and urban habitats. Another busy bee that you'll see going flower to flower to sip nectar and collect pollen is the honeybee. It's much smaller, about half the size of a bumblebee, and it is brown and has gold stripes. This image features a honeybee and she's sipping nectar from goldenrod. Look closely and you will notice that her tongue is visible, dipped into a flower, as she uses it like a straw to reach the nectar. Honeybees live together in large colonies. The female worker bees collect nectar from flowers and turn it into honey. The colony eats the honey throughout the winter to survive through the cold winter months. Honeybees also collect pollen and store it in their colony to feed their young and eat throughout the winter. Here's an interesting fun fact. Honeybees are the only insect that makes a food that humans eat, honey. Other important pollinators include butterflies and moths. There are nearly 2,000 species of butterflies and moths in Illinois, most of which are moths. In their caterpillar stage, butterflies and moths eat plant parts such as leaves. And in their adult stage, they pollinate flowers while sipping nectar from them. These insects in both stages are important food sources for both birds and animals. Butterflies are usually active by day, have long, thread-like, knob-tipped antenna, a small, slender body, and large wings. Moths are mostly active at night, 
have antenna in many shapes, a stout body, and small or narrow wings. Pictured here is a monarch butterfly. Look closely and you will notice the butterfly's long, slender tongue sipping nectar from the black-eyed Susan it has landed upon. Did you know that the beautiful monarch butterfly is the official state insect of Illinois? We also raise monarch caterpillars here at the Raco branch at the end of May, and by mid-June, each caterpillar had transformed into a chrysalis. You can watch a video of a caterpillar transforming at the end of this program. After that, you can watch another video of our butterfly release that happened at the end of June. In this picture, a pex skipper moth is resting on aster flowers. Do you notice how much smaller the wings are compared to the monarch's wings in the previous picture? The moth's antenna are much shorter too. Now that you have learned about pollination and the important role that pollinators play in the production of food, here's how you can help benefit pollinators. Plant a variety of native plants. A good pollinator garden has native plants that attract and support pollinators at all stages of their life cycle, as well as a variety of plant life, floral and non-floral, that bloom from early spring through fall. Provide shelter and overwintering areas for pollinators such as bumblebees. Leave dead plant materials to overwinter. The stems and seed heads can provide a source for egg laying and nesting. Provide bare patches of soil for ground nesting bees and provide a fresh source of water that includes rocks and pebbles for landing on to help prevent drowning. The bees can land on the various things that you place in your non-porous basin and be able to sip the water without drowning. Thank you for joining us today. Your program kit contains lots of fun things, including activity sheets and two posters. The first is a beautiful Illinois Native Bees poster and the second is the Illinois Moths and Butterflies poster. You can learn how to identify different bees, moths, and butterflies of Illinois from the photos on the front side of each poster, and we'll learn many more interesting facts about them from the information on the back of each poster. Don't forget to place your Because You're a Champion sticker where it belongs in your Rako Rangers coloring book. When you visit the Rako branch, you can use the Butterfly Garden Guide as a reference to help you identify the many plants that are growing in our butterfly garden. Didn't get your kit? Stop by the Rako branch. We might have a few extras. I hope you enjoyed our bees and pollinators program. Keep up the good work, rangers. Come here and visit the prairie at the Rako branch library to observe all the different types of native insects that call this prairie home. Thank you.